click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, today we are going to study a topic named coagulation. Now what exactly coagulation is? When I have water with me, which seems pure but also has some impurities and these impurities are very small. So how do I deal with that water and how do I filter it and make it absolutely pure is by the process of coagulation. So in this video, we will be studying the exact process of coagulation. So in water, there are certain particles whose size is 10 raised to minus 5 to 10 raised to minus 7 meters. So they are extremely small. So these particles cannot be seen. These particles have a certain charge in them, either positive or negative. And that is the reason why with this positive and negative charge, they either keep on attracting to each other or they keep on repelling each other. Imagine a tank full of water having such small particles which either attract or repel each other. Now what will happen in them? The entire water is filled with such particles and they keep on attracting and repelling. That is the reason why they keep on moving in the entire water, the entire tank. And because of that, these particles will never settle down. There is no sedimentation or settling down of those particles. And that is the reason why we have to find a technique through which we can remove these particles. And that is known as coagulation. Coagulation. Coagulation is the process of removing colloidal particles. What are colloidal particles? Colloidal particles are those particles which are extremely small, extremely fine. Maybe some of them cannot be even seen through naked eyes and cannot be felt, but they are still present. And it is very important to remove them with the purification processes. Coagulation is the process of removing colloidal particles from water by the addition of certain chemicals known as coagulants before sedimentation. So now what do we do is before the sedimentation process of water, sedimentation is another purification process of water. Before we perform that, we perform something known as coagulation. In coagulation, we'll add certain chemicals. There will be human intervention. That means that we will deliberately add certain chemicals which are named as coagulants inside the water containing colloidal that is very fine particles so that these coagulants will mix up or will react with the colloidal particles and form something which can be easily removed or purified. Actually the colloidal particles present in water either do not settle down at all or take a very long time to settle down and by very long time I am not talking about few hours it may take years and years for those particles to settle down or maybe they won't settle down forever. We know the reason why they won't settle down forever is either they have some kind of charges in them which keep on attracting and repelling to other colloidal particles and if we have neutral colloidal particles which do not have any charge yet they are so light they are even lighter than water that is the reason why it will take years and years for them to settle down at the bottom but we need to purify them through some or the other process and that is the reason why this process coagulation is the best for purifying them in order of quick setting these particles certain chemicals known as coagulants are used the most commonly used coagulant is alum now alum is one of the most commonly used coagulant and it works so quickly so if I have just a lump of alum and I just stir it through the particles or through the water containing the colloidal particles this alum will immediately make the water extremely pure. What is this alum made up of? K2SO4, Al2SO4 and 24H2O. Now this alum reacts with all the colloidal particles present in it and then all the colloidal particles can be easily filtered out or taken away with the help of alum. Another most important coagulant is ferrous sulfate which is FeSO4 common 7H2O. Now this is also being used in water but more commonly used or more preferred coagulant is alum and because of alum the water gets purified and on further purification and refining that water can also be portable that can also be used for humans or any animal plant being for drinking and other purposes. Now let us see some of the reactions which take place when we mix up both coagulants and colloidal particles. So the coagulants and the colloidal particles mix up and form something which can be easily removed from the water and that water will be in its purest form. Let's see what those reactions are. In addition of coagulants to water also removes color, order and improves its taste. 
Why? Because these colloidal particles cannot be seen through naked eyes, but they are present in large amounts inside the water. Because of that, the color of the water can also change. At times, we can see the water is impure, but we can not exactly make out that that is the impurity which is present in it. Why? Because the impurity is in its colloidal form. Because the impurity is in its colloidal form, it gets easily mixed in water. And because of that, we cannot see the impurity with our naked eyes. But we come to know from the color or the order of the water that yes, the water is impure. But once we use coagulants in the impure water, they not only help to remove the impurities, but also change the color, order and also improve the taste of that water. Now let us see few reactions of it. The first one, over here we have used Al2SO4 thrice as my coagulant. Over here Al2SO4 thrice is the coagulant. So over here 3 times Ca, HCO3 twice will be nothing but my colloidal particles which are present in the water. Now both of them mix up together. And what do we get in the product form? Let's see that. We have 2 ALOH tries and when I draw a downward arrow, this downward arrow represents a precipitate. A precipitate is always represented by a downward arrow. So this downward arrow is a precipitate. So something mixes up together and forms this precipitate and this precipitate will just go down to the bottom, to the bottom of the utensil and it won't react with any other impurities. It is a bulky gelatinous flock. This bulky gelatinous flock which is present down at the bottom of the tank can easily be removed from the impure water. Other than that, it forms 3 CaSO4 plus 6 CO2. This 6 CO2 again it has, it's in volatile form. It is a gaseous thing. Carbon dioxide is a gas and carbon dioxide will go away. So by just putting a coagulant of Al2SO4 thrice, this entire substance gets broken down into three things out of which one is a gaseous form it will just go away and the second thing two ALOH tries forms a bulky gelatinous flock which is a precipitate and it will settle down by this we can easily eliminate the colloidal particles let's see another example of the same over here i have taken feso4 feso4 i have taken as a coagulant we have seen over here ferrous sulfate feso4.7h2o is a coagulant so feso4 is added to mghco thrice twice so this mghco thrice twice is my colloidal particle when both of them mix we get something known as feoh twice which is a precipitate mgco3 plus h2o plus co2 Again, over here, FeOH twice, which is a precipitate, will come down at the bottom of the entire tank and that can be easily removed and be precipitated out. MgCO3 plus H2O. H2O is nothing but water. So, if pure water is getting added to the water, we have no harm in that. So, over here, we are getting rid of two things. The first is FeOH twice, which is in the form of a precipitate. And the second is CO2, which is in its volatile form. The last reaction we have over here is 4 FeOH twice plus 2 H2O plus O2 forming 4 FeOH twice in the form of a precipitate. But the main product which is being formed is 4 FeOH twice which is a precipitate. So over here we come to know that when a coagulant and a colloidal substance mix together they firstly form a precipitate and in one of its byproducts it may form a volatile substance which is an added benefit. So why here we studied coagulation which is one of the most important properties of filtering out all the colloidal or small fine particles of water. Thank you so much for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikira and subscribe Ikira.